Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about move a product from wishlist to cart and make quantity working on product details page. So first of all, uh, let's see how can we move product from wishlist to cart. Okay, so switch to the project and uh, let's open the wishlist component class file. So just go inside the app directory, in HTTP, liveware and from here just open wishlist component.php file okay and inside this file uh, let's create a function uh, for moving product from wishlist to cart okay so just write here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is move product from this list to cart okay and inside this function let's pass here the one argument which is row id all right now inside this function creates a variable item and uh, add here the cart instance and, and add here this instance name this list okay and now call here the get method and just pass here the row id okay this row id all right now part instance this list and now just call here the remove function remove and inside this function just pass here the row id row id this one all right now add instance and cart instance is cart now call the add function add and inside this uh, just pass here item arrow id and dollar item arrow price uh, sorry name quantity uh, one and then just pass here the price item arrow price okay and also associate with model so right here associate associate okay and inside this pass here the model path app slash models slash product okay and now refresh the uh, this one with list count and card count okay so for that just write here dollar this arrow image and pass here the component name first refresh the with list count so just write here with list dash count dash component all right add here the comma and the title refresh component refresh c capital component all right and now just copy this line and paste here and change here the component name card count component so image two okay dollar this arrow emit to this list count component reference component and here dollar this emit to cart dash count dash component and here reference component okay now save this file now let's copy this function name and uh, go to the this list component view file so for that just go inside the resources directory then views live wire and from here just open with list component dot dot php file all right and inside this file uh, inside this for it you can see here this is a to cart link okay so first change here the text uh, move to cart okay and now uh, here uh, inside this anchor tag just write here wire colon click dot prevent and add here the function name move product from wishlist to cart 
and inside this just pass here the row id okay so for that uh, first of all just remove these parameters these arguments okay so just select from here to here and remove this all right and now add here dollar item arrow row id okay and this parameter must inside the single quote okay all right so now it's done so save this and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now let's add some product to this list so I'm just going to add this one product added also add this product this this one also and in this list you can see here there are three items okay just click on this link okay you can see here three products now let's move uh, this product to the cart so just click on this link and you can see here product has been moved and uh, uh, product removed from the wish list and uh, you can see here the wish list count is two and uh, inside the cart count you can see here one item okay now let's open the cart so just click on this icon okay this icon is not working so let's add here the link for the cart okay so for that switch to the project and uh, uh, just go to the cart count component dot php file uh, view file so you can see here uh, this is the view file cart count component dot blade dot php file and uh, uh, which file this one cart count component dot blade dot php file okay and inside this file uh, let's add here the link so just add here double curly bracket route and add here the route name which is uh, let's see the route name so just go inside the route directory web.php and you can see here the route name is product.card so just copy this link route name and paste here okay now save this file uh, now switch to the browser and refresh the page Okay, now let's click on this link for opening the cart And inside cart you can see here uh, one product, okay All right uh, Now let's uh, move one product from the wish list so just click on the wish list icon and this time i'm just going to move this product to the cart so just click on this link product moved and you can see here two item in cart okay so click on this cart link and here you can see uh, there are two items okay all right now let's see how can uh, we make quantity working on product details page if i click on any product you can see here uh, this is the quantity okay uh, this time it is not working so let's make working this uh, quantity so for that uh, switch to the project and uh, just open the quantity uh, sorry details component class file so for that just go inside the app directory sctp and uh, from here just open details component.php file all right and inside this file uh, let's create a property for the quantity okay so just write here public and property name uh, let the property name is qty okay for quantity and now set the default value so inside the mount uh, lifecycle hook method just write here dollar this arrow qty is equal to default value one okay and now uh, inside this class uh, let's create two function uh, one for the increase quantity and another for the decrease quantity okay 
So after this method, uh, let's create two function. Uh, first, click function, and let's a function name is increase quantity. Okay, and uh, inside this function, simply write here dollar this arrow. Uh, property name kpy plus plus okay and now uh, let's create another function for decrease quantity so write it public function and function name decrease quantity okay and inside this function first check here the condition if dollar this arrow qpy is greater than 1 then uh, is the quantity by 1 so right here dollar this arrow qpy minus minus ok alright now save this file and uh, inside this uh, store function uh, cart instance cart add and inside this add method uh, just remove this one okay remove this one and add here dollar this arrow qty okay and now save this file and now go to the details component view file so from the resource, uh, from resources directory just go inside the views live wire and from here just open details dash company dot blade dot php file okay and you can see here this is the input quantity input text field and this is the button for reduce uh, reduce uh, the quantity and this is the increase for quantity okay so inside the, this product quantity input text field uh, first bind the property so just write here wire colon model is equal to qty Okay, this property name, uh, this one, QTY, and uh, set this in, uh, reduce link, add here, wire, call and click action, dot prevent is equal to, and just call here the, this function, uh, decrease quantity, okay, so just copy and paste here, and inside the increase quantity, add here the wire colon click dot prevent is equal to and just call here the this function increase quantity. Okay, so copy and paste here. All right, now it's done. So save this file and let's check this. So switch to the browser and just refresh the page. Now go to the soft page and let's open the, this product. So just click on this product and now uh, uh, let's increase the uh, product quantity. So I'm just going to click on this icon plus, okay, four. All right, now let's click on add to card okay and here you can see uh, this product okay has been added inside this cart and you can see here the number of product is four and total number of products are six okay all right So in this way, you can move product from wishlist to cart and uh, make quantity working on the product details page. So uh, that's all about move product from wishlist to cart and make quantity working on product details page. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.